and welcome to this budget hot pink makeup look. I'm first going to just put my hair back so I've got a clean space to work with. Firstly, I have moisturised my face with the Bioderma Sebia Matte Moisturiser. Then I've gone in with the Collection Lassie Perfection Concealer in Fair and Revlon Colour Stay Foundation in 150. And buffing all of that into the skin with a Real Techniques buffing brush. I have just used my everyday brow products which is the Anastasia Dip Brow in Dark Brown and the MAC 208. If you're after a cheaper alternative you could use Clear Mascara with the MUA Single Eyeshadow in Dark Brown. To set this I'm just using the Maybelline Brow Sculpt Mascara in Dark Brown. For eyeshadow base, I'm just using the collection Work The Colour Eyeshadow Pencil and this is in Vanilla Sky and I'm putting that all over the lid up to the brow bone. Then taking the MUA palette in Matte Ever After, I'm using the first colour which is called Unwrap and taking that all over the lid to create a flawless base. Next I'm just taking the colour Chino and just popping that in the crease of my eyelid just to give it a soft blend. Then taking the darkest shade in Truffle, I am just putting that on the outer corner of the lid and blending that in with a MAC 217. <laughs> I'm then taking this colour underneath the lower lash line and also blending that out with a MAC 217. I'm then taking the Rimmel Scandalised pencil in Nude. This is to line the waterline and just to give a fresh wide eyed look. Then I'm taking the Primark liquid liner in black and just lining the upper lash line with a feline flick. So at this point I'm just going in again with the collection concealer just to clean up any fallout and correct anywhere that needs a little bit more coverage. Taking the Real Techniques contour brush, I'm just going back into the eyeshadow. This makes everything super blended. Then I'm just taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is in translucent and just going over my whole face just to mattify everything down. I'm using the MUA Bronzer in shade 3 to contour my face and then buffing everything back in with a large fluffy brush afterwards. Then going in with the PS Love Beauty from Primark blusher in pink, not as scary as it looks, <laughs> just popping that on the apples of the cheeks. Then to highlight the highest points of my face, I'm using the Revolution Baked Highlighter in Peach Lights. I'm then lining the lips with Primark's Hot Pink Lip Pencil. This is only a pound and I'm filling my lips in with this as well. To cover that I'm taking Primark's Deep Colour Ultra Shine Lipstick in number 47 which again is a hot pink to complement the lip liner shade and just popping that all over the lips as well. Mm -hmm. 
Then to finish off these hot pink lips, I am taking the liquid lipstick from Primark and this is in neon pink number seven. And then again, just putting it all over the lips to make them really pop and stand out for this look. So just to finish off this look, I'm taking a set of Primark's Natural Lashes, these are only a pound and I'm using them with the Duo Lash Glue and just popping them on my upper lash line. Once the lashes have fully dried, then take a mascara of your choice. Mine is the Revlon Bold Lacquer Mascara in Blackest Black. And I'm just putting a layer of that on the top and lower lashes and then pinch together the strip lash with your own lashes just to make them all blend in nicely. And finally, just touch up any areas of liquid liner wherever you think may need it from putting the lashes on. So that is the finished look, this is my budget friendly hot pink makeup look using drugstore products and products from Primark. I hope you enjoyed that and that it was useful and I will see you again in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye!